Hello everyone. This video is going to walk you through taking the article you used for your pop culture article critique, you know, the news story version, and turning it into the journal article version for your next assignment. Okay, so I'm going to use a couple different examples to show you several different um, possibilities that could happen. Uh, hopefully this will answer a lot of questions. So this is an article I found on cross-ethnic friendship and it's taken off a Psych Central blog. And so I'm going to use this as an example where this article actually tells you the journal that the uh, article, original research was published in. It's the, research, the journal is called Child Development. So now that I know it's Child Development, I can go to the Abel Library website. Here's the URL. Uh, you can get that from the main AC page. And when I'm here, I want to use the Journal Finder. This is going to be probably the simplest way to do this. Okay, so click here on Journal Finder. It will open up a new window. And then just type the journal name here, Child Development. Okay, and I'm going to just click Journals Only so I don't get any books. This will just give me the, the journals with Child Development in the title. So if I look here, I've got 10 journals that match Child Development. So the first one isn't the one I want, it's called something else. I want the journal that just says child development. Now if you look, I've got several different options of databases to choose from. The first one looks promising because it runs up through the present, but if you look over here, there's an embargo of the last year, which means the last year's worth of issues aren't online yet. Okay, And if I look at when my this news article was published, it was published just a couple days ago. So likely the article that research is based on has been published recently too. This next one only runs up to through 2007. So down here is the one that goes from 97 to the present. I'm going to click that one because likely it w if it's newsworthy today, it probably has been published in the last 20 years. Now I don't know the actual volume number or page number that because of the journal article. So I'm going to click this here, which just takes me to the online content. And now that I'm at the journal itself, I can go over to this box and search inside the journal. There's multiple options, but you want the one that says in journal or this journal. Okay, I go back to my article and I need something to search with. So I notice here that Sandra Graham is the researcher who led the study. Okay, so if I go back to my journal page, I can type Graham and then cross ethnic friendship. Okay, usually you just need the last name of one of the researchers. Okay, now I pull up here, the very first one on my list is by Graham and two other people and it looks just like what I'm looking for. So I check the PDF. I prefer to use PDFs rather than um, HTML, but that's a personal preference. And now, so this looks right, psychosocial benefits of cross-ethnic friendships in urban middle schools. I go back here to the uh, original news article and I notice here, I'm going to do another quick check and look at, you know, I've got this many people in 10 um, urban American schools and right here in the abstract it shows me how many people were studied. They match, so this is like, the, this is the right study. Okay, if they didn't match, I might have to go back and try some other things. Now the journal article will have everything all the way through to the references section. Okay, and it's already in a PDF, which is easy to use, so I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm just going to call this my article. Okay, but this doesn't solve every problem. Not every article you look at will tell you what the journal art you're looking for is. Okay, but let, sometimes we might not even have access to the journal if you know it. So let's try another example. This is another recent uh, news story about pets sometimes keeping abused women from leaving. Now again, this journal article actually doesn't tell me where it was published. As I scan through, there's no journal that is actually being named here. So I have to do something else. Okay, so I'm going to go to Google Scholar, which is just scholar.google.com, and I'm going to use this to try to find the research that this news piece is based on. Now I go through here and I find that um, Hardesty was the one who conducted the interviews. She's the first author, presumably. 
So I go ahead and type hardesty into, I have to spell it right, hardesty and pet, pets into the search bar. And what comes up right away is an article by hardesty, okay? And it talks about abused women's decisions about their pets when seeking shelter. Okay, now I go back here and look for some more evidence that this is the right article. And as I scroll down here, I see the name Ridgeway, okay, is another person who might be involved in the study. So as I go back to the Google Scholar window, I see indeed Ridgeway is another one of the authors. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is what I want. So I'm going to come here, and here it's really great. It gives me the the Journal of Interpersonal Violence, and this one actually will already give me the full text. So I'm going to go ahead and just click that. If it didn't have the full text for me, I would just go to the Journal of Interpersonal Violence and put that into the Journal Finder on the library web page like we did for the last one. But here it is. Here's the full text of the article. It's, it's the one I want, and let me just double check even a little bit further. Um, I see that they did 19 interviews with women um, who were in shelters. Okay, so let me go back and double check the news article and see if they interviewed 19 women. And yep, interviewed 19 abused women. Okay, so this must be my article. So I'm going to go back and I will save this one. Again, I will save it. I'll just call this my other article. Okay, now this is all well and good and I've found several of my articles this way. But sometimes we don't have access to articles, so another skill is needed. Okay, so let's check out this article. So this is an article looking at research about how music affects teen drivers. So this study was published in the journal Accident Analysis and Prevention. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the Abel Library website, go over to Journal Finder again, and this time as I wait for it to load, come on. Okay, in the journal finder, I type the journal name again, Accident Analysis and Prevention. Okay, again, I search in journals only. But this time, it's not going to find anything. Okay, so we don't have this journal in our database. Okay, which means we've got a, an extra step we've got to do. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go over here to the main library page again, and this button here, ILL, stands for Interlibrary Loan. Okay, so we're going to do an article request form. So this is the library is going to go get a copy of this article for me since I need it for class. Okay, now you should allow five to ten days for it to come. Usually it comes a little bit faster. Um, when you, if you ask for books, that takes usually that long, but article requests often go much faster since they can just send us a uh, PDF version from a library that has it. So I go ahead and I put my information in here. Um, you know, you check student, but I'm f faculty, so I'll put faculty over here. I put my mailbox number, um, my internet ID. Again, um, don't put your, this is what comes before the at Austin College. Don't put the at Austin College in there. Okay, now I need some information about the article. Okay, I know the name of the journal. It's Accident uh, Analysis and Prevention. Uh, but I don't know what the actual title of the article is. And I know the title of the news story, but I don't know the title of the, the actual journal article. So I've got to do a little bit of digging. So I'm going to go back to Google Scholar open Google Scholar up again and let's see I need the name of the researchers so we got Brodsky and Slor S-L-O-R um, I hope I'm not butchering this person's name but let's see Brodsky and Slor and then I'll type uh, teenager or teenage driving Hey, now this one actually comes up with several different pieces by uh, potential Options. Okay, this first one's by Brodsky, but uh, it looks like it's published in 2001, so it's probably not what I'm looking for. This next one um, is Brodsky and Slore, but it might be the one I'm looking for. But as I look, it's published in uh, just on a website. 
I want to check this next one, Brodsky and Slore. It says it's from Accident Analysis and Prevention, which is the journal I want. Now, this one, luckily, on Google Scholar, even has the full text on PDF from um, some website called Gwen.net. Now, that's really lucky, and I wouldn't even have to finish using Interlibrary Loan. Okay, But for practice, because I want you to know how to use Interlibrary Loan, we're going to uh, go about this this way. So you click on the article, and it'll take you to the publisher's website. Okay, You can see it's the Accident Analysis and Prevention website. Okay, background music is a risk factor for distraction among young novice drivers and gives you all the information you're going to need right here. Okay, but first I'm going to take the title from the actual journal article and I'm just going to copy and paste this over here into article title since that's kind of long. Okay, I need then, just make sure it all showed up here, I need the article's author's first name. And I think, let me double check what the first name was, uh, Warren, so Warren Brodsky, go ahead and put that in, Warren, and then the author, article author's last name, Brodsky, um, the volume I can get here, it's volume number 58, okay, the year is 2013, and let's see, what were the page numbers for the article? Okay, copy and paste those. Okay, now down here it'll say, ask you how much you're willing to pay. Make sure you put zero. You should never have to pay. Students never have to pay to get articles, so don't worry about that. In notes, I usually like to write a little something that just says thank you, um, you know, that you've read the the things that you need to read, certify, you understand, and you hit submit. Now you will get an email reminder, or an email confirmation, so make sure you check your email to get that so you know that interlibrary loan is working for you. Okay. Typically you'll get an email which has the what you want as an attachment, so uh, for, for journal articles anyway. If you're looking for a book, they'll hold it at the circulation desk for you. Okay, so that's an overview of a couple different ways to find the journal article you need. Now, if you need to use interlibrary loan, um, I, when I, you submitted your original news story, I told you you were going to have to use interlibrary loan. So hopefully you know who you are. Double check your emails if uh, you don't remember. Um, that's just an overview to get you started, but uh, it may not answer all your questions. So if you have more questions, come talk to me during office hours. Um, or talk to me after class or something like that and I can try to walk you through the process. Also uh, shoot me an email if you need help. Okay? Good luck with finding your journal articles.